Welcome to video number eight of living life outside of pickup. I just want you to sit there. Listen to what I'm saying. If you try to make me wrong or right, then you're not going to be listening. The reason why you still can't express yourself is not because you can't do what people are telling you. If you're watching this video, I can almost guarantee you <clears throat> that you're someone who cares a lot about growth in life. You care so much about where your life is going that you're willing to seek out those who look like or have what it is that you want. Pay very close attention when I say look like and have. Most people that you are seeking out they look like they have what you want. Why do I say this? I say this because if I think about my journey in this and learning what does it mean to express myself, I see a lot of frustration. There's so much frustration because I trusted in people who I thought could help me express myself. I gave a lot of trust in myself to those people. And it's not like they tried to give me false information or they tried to show me something that wasn't right. They tried to show me something that was right, but they didn't have what I wanted. And this brings me to authenticity. What does it mean to express yourself authentically? This was my search. I wanted to not only just express myself, not only just say things, not only just do things, but do it and say it in a way that felt the most natural and real to me. And <clears throat> I would go to this person and I would listen to the advice from this person. And then I would go and look at this video because I thought every single source was leading me toward expressing myself better. And in many ways, they were because they led me to not listening to them. So in many ways, I could say they actually were doing that. But something that I can tell you that's a for sure and something that you're going to not want to listen to is that most of the people who are going to teach you how to express yourself are giving you immature advice. Authentically expressing yourself has been described as, by teachers out there, being honest. They say if you want to authentically express yourself, you need to be honest. You need to speak honestly. You need to say things honestly. Do things honestly. And when I, <clears throat> when I see that or I hear that, immediately I go, that's amazing advice. That's incredible advice. But it's really immature. I thought it was a little doggy behind me. The reason why it's so immature is because I 
Honesty is very different than authenticity. Authenticity is this moment. Authenticity is naturalness. That's what it is. Honesty can only lead you to authenticity. But honesty in itself holds no value. People say, if you want to be authentically yourself, be honest. That is the furthest from the truth. Be honest. <clears throat> They're trying to tell you that the honesty has the value. And when you're, when you're honest, in that same place, you're going to find authenticity. That is not true. Honesty in itself is just that. Honesty. The way people make it seem like is that this is the thing in itself that's the most highest thing you can do for a person. No, the highest thing is not being honest. The highest thing is being authentic. Honesty can only lead you to authenticity. The way that I see it is like this. If there's two doors in life, one is a door filled with light and one is a door filled with darkness. I want you to understand that both of these doors have honesty on them. They are. Both of these doors are honesty. Why do I say that? Because the door that has the light <clears throat> is honesty and that's the honesty that leads you into authenticity. The door that has the darkness is honesty, but that's the honesty that leads you into questioning, questioning more of why can't I express myself? And most people who are out there teaching are teaching from the door of darkness. They really can't see. They're going Being authentic is learning to express yourself honestly. It's being able to say to someone that this is the way that it is, not bullshitting, not cutting corners, just being real. And what they don't know is that when they even gave that advice, when they learn what authenticity was, quote unquote, in their reality, when they learn what honesty was in their reality, it was linked to them not knowing that it's reactivity. Disconnection. It's very easy for some people to be honest. You need, you need to understand this. It is very, very easy for some people to be honest simply because they've trained themselves to cut through bullshit. They've trained themselves to cut through what people would call bullshit or uh, the corners. They train themselves to cut the corners. And because they train themselves to cut the corners, they seem intimidating. They seem like they have the answers. They seem like they have courage, the ultimate courage. And they absolutely don't because any person who is living through that door of darkness, if I meet them, in no way will I be intimidated by them. I'm not intimidated by the man or the woman who out there who can speak honestly. No way. I'm not intimidated by the one who lives through the door of darkness of not knowing that this is just out of reactivity. You have become, so to speak, authentic or honest out of the reactivity of having been a person who haven't been that. You haven't been that so you train yourself to cut corners and to get straight to the truth. So you seem so strong, you seem so powerful to others that you can be an authority in it. But you're not really an authority. This is why you still can't feel like you can express yourself because they themselves are only scratching the surface of what it means to be authentic. I know this because I lived out that track of trying to follow people who say that they know how to express themselves authentically. And I found myself going, why is this not true for me? Why is it that I can't, why is it I can't still express myself? 
I mean, they say do this, they say this is the way, but then when I do that, it doesn't work. Or when I do that, there's some faultiness in it. This robbed me of my experience of expressing myself truly. So I went, you know what? I'm going to back away from everyone who's telling me that, and I'm going to learn what this really means. I'm going to learn what this means from the position of what's true for me. Because once I find out, once I learn the path of what's true for me, I can be able to give people the realness of how can you authentically be yourself? How can you express yourself? Not the self I'm talking about you think you know. I'm talking about yourself, the origin, the part of you that you can feel, but you for some reason seem like you can't touch it. I know you know this feeling, a feeling like there's a part of me that wants to be expressed, but I feel like I can't touch the surface of it. That was my whole life. So when I moved away from, okay, people are doing this and I'm gonna learn how to do it on my own, I started to see so many different things. I started to see that there's people who I just don't wanna be around. There's things that I do that I don't wanna do. I find myself being in front of people, wanting to say something and holding back because I don't wanna feel their reaction. I'm scared of their reaction, so I'm holding back. This is why I can't express myself because I'm afraid of harsh reaction. I started to face harsh reaction. And how do you face harsh reaction? By allowing yourself to express what you want to express in the moments that you don't want to because you're afraid of harsh expression. This is when the light start to come to me because I lived in the door of darkness for so long because I was learning from people who thought they knew but didn't really know. I started to see the light. I started to feel the light on the inside of, okay, this feels real to me. I'm expressing myself right now, and it's so scary. It is. And people who live through the door of darkness even goes, it's so scary. But what they don't know is that their scariness is very different than my scariness. My scariness is letting go of who I think I am for nothingness. Their scariness is letting go for who they think they are for something else. Their attempt is to find something so they can have a certainty about life. My attempt or my interest in my path, the light path that one walks is to allow themselves to express themselves so that they can feel nothingness, so they can express themselves out of nothingness. This is the different doors that people have the chance to walk through. So coming back to what allowed me to do that is that I started to walk through. I started to fill out. When I'm in front of people, I'm afraid to do this. I'm actually afraid to do this. This is what started to come to me. So walking through the door of light has given me the chance to tell you that you are led astray because you think that the person is giving you good advice on expressing yourself. And the truth is, is that because of their own immaturity and knowing, they just pass it on to you. And I've been courageous enough to see this and walk in the way that I feel is most true. And through this, the light of understanding the maturity has come my way. So I give you this. I give you something that's the most profound thing that you will ever know right now about expressing yourself. If it doesn't feel like it aligns with you, it is not true. If it feels like it doesn't align with you, it is not true. And I mean that not 
you are in opposition and you're going, no, 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 that's not me. Because you're already operating from the position of, I know me. No, I'm talking about if it feels like it doesn't align with you and your nature and the way your nature expresses itself, it is not true for you. It is not the truth. And you may say, okay, maybe it was true for them, Tony. And you're just ignorant to understanding that it was true for them. That can be something. But then I challenge that and I, tell you, I say to you that anyone who truly is expressing themselves will not try to tell someone that this is the way you do it and this is not the way you do it. This is right and this is wrong. The moment that they do that, that shows you that the person doesn't know. So what is my way of telling you to express yourself? What is my way of telling you the way that's going to be the most healthy for you, the, the way of, the, of through the light? Not the right way, but the way through the light, the door of light. It's to stop listening to the immature advice. Stop listening to what others are telling you. Stop listening to it. When you follow what you feel to be true internally, or those who you feel when you're, when you're looking at them or you're, or you're listening to them, to them in this video or you're reading a book, those who you feel are striking a chord inside of you that feels the most aligned, that is the way to go for you specifically. Don't let anyone tell you this is the way to express yourself. This is the way to express yourself. You only know that truth. Immature advice is everywhere. People are telling you that this is the way and this is the way. None of it is the way. You know the way. It is a courageous step for you to go. I feel like this person right here kind of knows what they're talking about or knows what they're talking about, but it doesn't align with me. That lets you know that it's not the way for you to go. You only listen to and follow those who are aligning with you when it feels the most real for you to express yourself. Now, of course, there's so many levels to this, but the main thing is the healthy way is gonna be the connected way. I talked about disconnection earlier, and I'm sorry that I didn't continue with that, but I talked about disconnection earlier. The disconnect is simply that they are not having their heart engaged in it. They think they know the advice based on logic, based on the past, based on what they've been able to discover from the past. But being connected to your heart, you'll always know the truth of this moment. And that is the natural way to express yourself. The, sorry, the thing is going in and out of focus. The truth of this moment. So I have to stop there because uh, the lights are going down and the thing is going in and out of focus because it can't find me maybe because I'm I'm darker skin but <clears throat> <clears throat> allow this to let you know that others out there they're telling you things and it's immature advice and if you follow what's true for you what you really feel is true if you have the courageous to follow those who align with you you will find more clarity in what it means to express yourself. What I want you to do is that I want you to subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you want to follow me and everything that I'm doing. If you feel like this has helped you, share with someone, share it. And I have to tell you that it's more important to be that which you are than to try to become that which you want. So never try just be. This is Tony Solo walking with my camera right now. Look at the beautiful background, Budapest. And I talk to you tomorrow.